and welcome to Bread of Life. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Oral Blackstock of Hartford. Hello, thank you for joining me. Oral Blackstock of First Church of God Hartford here with you. Have you noticed that the longer you live, the more information and experience there is to be absorbed? The words of my parents are certainly becoming real that life is a classroom all by itself. A few months ago, I left my home properly dressed and headed to Bradley International Airport at approximately 4.30 in the morning. After checking in and handing over my check-in suitcase, I headed to the checkpoint. It was a really packed environment, and after a while, I reached the TSA check area. Everyone was encouraged to get rid of everything in your pocket as well as removing any belt. I was wearing a pair of jeans and did not realize that my belt was performing such a great role before being taken off. By the time I went through the scanning machine, I was walking bow-legged, trying to help my pants stay in place. After my pat-down, I quickly grabbed my belongings from the x-ray belt and scurried to put my belt back in its place. Once on board the flight, we were all encouraged to fasten our seat belts so as to keep our bodies in place, just in case. I started thinking about seat belts and then I did it. Yes, you are right. Conducted my own research and found out the following. American car manufacturers Nash in 1949 and Ford in 1955 offered seat belts as options while Swedish Saab first introduced seat belts as standard in 1958. After the Saab GT750 was introduced at the New York Motor Show in 1958 with safety belts fitted as standard, the practice became commonplace. Now you know. As I reflected on the seat belt, I am reminded about another belt that Paul speaks about in Ephesians, the belt of truth. Ephesians 6.14 says, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Every follower of Jesus needs to ensure that our belt of truth is buckled around our waist. Everything that we do must be kept in place by truth. There should be truth in our conversation, truth in our testimonies, truth at our workplaces, truth in our homes, truth on vacation, truth in our business, truth in our play, and even truth in our funerals. I'm appalled on how many embellished truth we face, especially at funerals today. Jesus declared courageously, emphatically, and without reservation in John 14:6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Just as sitting in our cars, on the bus, in the airplane, and in many amusement park rides require us fastening our seatbelts, we as God's children should not just put on but ensure they are fastened. A few scriptures which encourage us to wear it daily are John 8, 31 to 32. Then said Jesus to these Jews which believe on him, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Zechariah eight sixteen. These are the things that ye should do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. Psalm 33, verse 4. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Let me encourage us today to put on our truth belts and fasten them because we could experience turbulence at any time. Please keep your truth belts on for the rest of the journey. May God bless you. Until tomorrow at the same time with lessons from life's classroom, this is Oral Blackstock for Bread of Life. You've been listening to Pastor Oral Blackstock of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.